All right, so we found, see that rhododendron right there? That one's a, a little sad. I'm trying to prune that one back, get it nice and fluffy again. But we found another little rhododendron growing right here, right on the fence line. I remember seeing this when I put the fence in, but it is shady here, very shady. And uh, I don't think this is really the place for a rhododendron to be growing. Um, so I'm digging it up and you know, it looked small, didn't it? Didn't it look small? But I don't know what was going on with rhododendrons in this area. That's a rhododendron over there. And like I said, there's one right over there. So there must have been one here because this root system seems way too intense for that tiny little thing. And look, it's got all this coming off of it and stuff too. So uh, let's explore it a bit, shall we? We can find out together what's going on. Ah, uh, yeah, so looks like that is a nubby bit. Oh yeah, that is woody. So, um, yeah, it looks like there was a rhododendron here. Probably this cedar wasn't here because those are little baby cedars. And so it's probably getting, and that one has gotten much bigger probably. So it's probably getting some sunshine. And then, I, I don't know, someone cut it down, I guess. And so, anyways, we're gonna transplant it. We're gonna move it somewhere else in the yard. Okay, so I already had my shovel out. I dug around it and I'm just trying to finish up getting this thing out of here. Let me see if I can prop up the camera somewhere. And, uh, see if we can get that thing out of there. It's pretty stuck in there right now. All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah. It's the part that's going under the fence is the hard part to dig up. I might just pull this thing. There we go. Look at that root ball. Wow. What a root system. What a system of roots. Look at this. Yeah, this was, this was some sort of serious rhododendron right here back in the day. Yeah, that is way too many roots for such a tiny plant, but we got it now. We are gonna plant this thing and it is gonna be amazing. Just goes to show how hardy these things are here in Washington state. It's the state flower, the state shrub. I don't know what you call it. I'm just gonna pick it up. All right, got my wheelbarrow over here. Flop it in the wheelbarrow. Take a look at that thing. Yeah, so it's the best look, I think, at what must have been cut off right here. And that yeah, looks like it was a pretty good stem to it at one point. These are the water suckling roots, these little things, right? So, I, you know, I lost a lot of roots here cutting it out because I didn't expect it to be so such a big mass, but as long as you got plenty of these little guys, and I think we do, I think we got enough to get that some water. We'll give it a little fertilizer, a little fresh water when we get it uh, in the ground. And I think this thing's gonna grow. It's gonna be quite happy. So let's go find a spot for it in the yard, huh? Let's just walk it back this way. Whoa. Crash crash. Alright, sorry about the weird filming. This is what you do when you're trying to film with one hand and run a wheelbarrow with the other. I probably look pretty silly right now, but you can't see me. All you see is the rotted engine in the wheelbarrow. And it's moving on down the path. We've been getting a lot of work done today. As you see, there's the 
lavender from the lavender video, the mulching video. All right. Now, I don't know if this is some sort of variety of rhododendron or if this is like a native, just Pacific rhododendron. Who knows where this thing came from? I kind of think maybe someone planted it a long time ago, but they do grow in the wild. So, there it is. We're gonna put it out here somewhere. We got Francis right here. We got the view from the kitchen. Don't, don't look at that pile of junk. Look how windy it is today. Wow, look at this. Isn't that incredible? And kind of terrifying. Those are really big trees. That's a really big tree. If that thing fell on me right now, that would hurt. I might not survive. So, if we can see it from the, from the kitchen window up there, and then look back, you know, so maybe like right in here or right in there. These are two beautiful fir trees that I want to leave and let them grow. So uh, there's a fir and there's a fir. And those are cedars behind it. And this was a bunch of cedar here that I actually took out. And there was a cedar here that I moved. So I actually moved this cedar over to the other part of the yard, way over there. See if you see it in the background. Don't mind the maple shack right there. Uh, it's right here. So, you can't see it anyways, but I mean you could if you knew exactly what you were looking for. It's that tiny thing in the distance. So I moved the cedar over there to help block the view of the neighbor's truck and some of the neighbor's stuff over there. So you know, that's what I do. I just move things around the yard. And now we've got a beautiful hole that wants something. Maybe I'll just put the rhododendron right there. Maybe. I think I'll get rid of this weird trunk thing. There's no need to keep some ugly trunks sticking out of the ground. Uh, just never got around to doing that. I didn't. I don't know if I thought maybe, you know, I was going to let that one grow back or something. I don't know what it's thinking. Yeah, maybe we'll put it right there. Now this is the maple shack. This is where I cook my maple syrup in the winter time. It's uh, maple season's over. As you see, there's a maple right there, and uh, it's about to put some leaves on. So maple season's over. So we can do a tour of that some other time. There you go. I guess I'm going to shut off the camera and plant this rhododendron. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.